At one point in belt production, both ends need to be connected. This is what we call a belt joint. Generally, we separate between two different belt joints, the butt joint and the overlap joint. For an overlap joint, the grit is taken off down to the backing on one end, while the other one is scuffed and both are glued together. When creating a butt joint, both ends are scuffed, glue is applied, and splicing tape is used to put both ends together. In today's video, we are showing you the most popular belt joints within these categories that you can find in Kling Spores product range. One of the belt joints that you will find a lot is the number four joint, the butt splice in which both ends are butted together and joined by high strength tape allows running the belt in both directions for greater belt life and convenience. Belts with this joint are used for a large variety of applications. A similar belt joint is our number three joint. The only difference is that the ends are cut in a zigzag. This joint is ideal for the glass industry and available in grits 80 and finer. On very fine cloth belts, the T joint finds use. This is a top skived number four butt joint for platen sanding operations on wide belt sanders 150 grit and finer. The T-joint is also used for grits 80 and up when chatter is a problem. Let's take a look at the overlap joints next. For our number one belt joint, both ends are overlapped without removing grain. That offers maximum protection against wear in the lap joints. It's a standard joint for pump sleeves, but you can also find it on belts for soft contact wheels, slack of belt operations, or on wide paper belts in 150 grit and finer. Different than the number one joint is the number two, for which parts of the grain are removed from the ends of the belt before overlapping. This ensures smooth running over platens and hard contact wheels for cloth belts 80 grit or finer. This joint is mainly seen on edge sanders where bullnose or deadhead sanding is done. The last joint we want to introduce you to is the number six joint. The belt ends are overlapped with the complete grain removal off the top of the splice and cut in a 45 degree angle, minimizing the amount of time the joint is in contact with the workpiece. This special belt joint comes into place for applications that require a highly conformable joint area, such as mold sanding. The belts Klingspore offers are always equipped with the most suitable belt joint for your application. Nevertheless, knowing the difference helps you to understand your abrasives and improves your sanding process.